Now our city will receive funding and can begin construction of the new interchange. Jopoli. The scandalous detention of the official is suspected of embezzling public funds worth over $40 million, as well as taking large bribes, particularly for illegal logging. Nabu officers planned the operation to detain Poletsky together with the SBU. The trigger for the investigation was the materials published a few weeks ago by well-known journalist Marina Nikolaeva. The case caused widespread public outcry and led to numerous resignations. And you're up early in the morning, Gennady Stepanovich. How did you want it? My best reporter put another greedy chusha behind bars. Well done, Nikolaeva. If it wasn't for you, our valiant police would never have gotten him. Yeah, come on. I wouldn't write, I'd write someone else. It's a matter of time. I was out of control. Well, you know, you did it before anyone else. So go ahead and don't be modest. You'll get your bonus like I promised. Well, do you know what you're going to work on next? Not yet. I'm definitely not going to sit idle. Well, I don't even doubt that. It's all the same. The glare of the fire, the long, dark corridors, the frightened woman. Isn't there anything that can be done? I don't know. Maybe some kind of hypnosis. Marin. I've been offering you a solution to your problem for a long time. My work has nothing to do with it. Let's just finally close this topic. I'm not telling you to quit. Take a pause. Above the second. Get a good night's rest. I'm not tired. Besides, I've been having these nightmares since I was a kid. What's work got to do with it? Yes, the problem is not the job per se, but the stress it causes. And the stress served as a trigger for the nightmares. As a child, it was served by the death of my mom as a teenager, exacerbated by a difficult relationship with my father. But today, it works. You know, Maureen, the father on the right and your journalism will ruin you. Yeah, I'm sure with your talents, with your acumen. You'll succeed at anything. Journalism is my business. Father, I didn't get it. We're just finishing up, so you can answer it. Yes. Marina Vladimirovna from the hospital. Your father passed away this morning. Hold on, Merrick. We will all miss the general very much. Been a great man. So many years in the force. If you need help, like any help, do you hear me? Anything. You know where to find me. Thank you, Nicholas. I don't expect to say no, but it's almost family. It's a pity Vlo didn't make your Artemu's wedding. I'm sure Vladimir Gorjevich will be watching us with him. We're always here for you, son. We all loved him very much. God is for us examples. Thank you. I don't know what's special about a spilled heart. Never complained. Vladimir Georgi never complained at all. Strong was the man. Because I didn't want to upset you. 
It's disturbing. Marina, it overflowed. Be sure to read it. Marish, are you okay? It's a good thing my dad closed the restaurant for the wake. There's room for everyone. What is it, Maureen? Even some new list I came up. Nikolaev is not your father. Were you adopted? Want to know more details? Come for breakfast, 10 p.m. Vishnev, 25. What is this nonsense? I hope you're not going there. What if it's not delusional? Are you serious? Do not go there, do you hear me? What if it's some psycho who's got a grudge against you? You haven't crossed many people with your investigations. I don't know. You may be right, but it's all weird. It's weird that you'd actually think of that. They're definitely trying to lure you in. All right, let's go to the police and let them handle this. Don't go to the police. Take me home, Clava's broken up. Maybe we should go to a restaurant after all. Let's remember Vladimir Gorjevich with everyone. I really don't feel well. It's just a lot to take in, but she's laid up. And stay with you. Well, he'd better explain why the General's only daughter didn't come to see her father. And I'll come straight to you when it's over. Tammy's gonna take a few days to recover. No, I really need it right now. We'll have to think about tidying it up. What do you say? Hello, Oxy. I can... the car's on South 26. Yes, thank you, I'm waiting. Thank you. I'm sorry, Dad.
for being stubborn as a lamb. Mechnosad Poso. And you were more often than not, I'm right, and I didn't appreciate it. Even now, I doubted you weren't my own. And no maternity photos, no mommy, no belly. I feel like I didn't have any at all until I was five. Maybe I really am an adoptee. Marin, 25 years ago, people didn't have smartphones at their fingertips. I realize you've just had a lot on your plate. And it's not just the pictures. I've always had this weird sense of nationality. My father and I weren't close. For as long as I can remember, he has been, with a dry, detached. I thought about it, but he's an officer. He's got a temper. Plus, my mom's car crashed. It's all coming together. After this note, I have even more doubts. Now imagine what it's like for him as a single man raising a daughter. The general was having a hard time without his wife, without his mother, a classic problem in such a relationship. You're grabbing on to the adoption story. Often the answers to the most difficult questions lie on the surface. I know, but yours is right. Anybody there?
freeze. Hands where I can see them. Okay, bye. Yes, Sir Yog. Uh, Sir Yog, wait. Uh, listen. We've got a grouse on the loose. Will you take it? Get up. My shift is over as soon as you get back. I know. I wouldn't have pulled if Garkusha wasn't late. The grouse isn't going anywhere. It'll wait till morning. Look, don't break down! I don't think anyone's waiting for the same fucking thing. Especially since he's the best tracker in the department. This case is murky. The victim was tortured, executed at point-blank range. Some broad got busted. All right, come on. I'm showing you what's going on here. Seriously? You don't have any other investigators? Hello again, Marina Vladimirovna. you didn't see your face? She said it was dark. One not fair, a street light all the way down the street. Well, what are you doing in that neighborhood? As I recall, you live in a luxury home downtown. It just happened to be Mahala's friend who got lost. By cab. By cab. What's the problem? And the problem is that all your arguments are not persuasive. First name, girlfriends, last name, address. It doesn't matter. No, it's very important, Marina Vladimirov. We took a cab to some friend's house and paid on the way. Heard a gunshot in the house instead of calling the police, and went into the house to see if everything was okay. You know, that's the way you do things, you know? Only I don't believe in the barn. I need to call my lawyer. Yeah, you're right about that. You're gonna need a lawyer. Sit, sit. Maria Lazinovna, I apologize for the misunderstanding. You're free to go. Here's your stuff. What do you mean, freedom? What do you mean, freedom? I'll talk to you later. I hope this is the last time we see each other. Let's talk about yours. I'm going into the office. How did you know I was here? Dad got a call. What the hell are you doing? Don't start. I'm tired of you. You promised you wouldn't go. We had a deal. And you don't care about that. It's a pauper after all, to meetings with some crazy people. I don't want to swear, but I had to figure it out. I've got some weird stuff going on about my family. I'm your family. Me, my father, and Vladimir Gorjevich rest in peace. I am grateful to you, Edward Nikolaevich. In our family have always been close. But you and I... Not a family yet. Well, I'm sorry. I was just nervous, you know. How did you know you were apprehended at the scene? I almost lost my mind. I'm sorry, too. No, I should have warned you. Eve, let's go. What the hell, comrade colonel? She's our only suspect. 
What kind of suspect is she to you? Life teaches you nothing at all. You have the memory of a jellyfish. You've forgotten what happens when you blow up on a general's daughters. I haven't forgotten. I remember everything perfectly. But last time he got into my investigation. Now I'm at a murder scene myself. So what? What do you really have on her? Witnesses, fingerprints, surveillance video. That's right! Or do you think if Nicholas is dead, there's no one to take care of her? Anybody? Trust me, Wolfie, you really think it's her. Come on, Wolfie, get to work. Canvas the neighborhood and get an ID on the victim. But don't go near her again. Forget about her. Vatican City, Karinochka, good one. Yes, my sweetie. Oh my god! All the best! Boy. Go on, shh. It's okay, it's okay. I'm right here. It's a nightmare again. It's all because of your job. It's astounding not to rest. You hear that? Before the stress finally gets to you. As a psychologist, you say? Now, you listen to us, psychologist. Or maybe you really should quit. We'll fly to the Maldives or the Dominican Republic. Or where do you want to go? Let's get some rest. We'll be together. I'm not tired. What are your plans for today? Why don't we go out? Now I have an appointment with a counselor, then off to the office for all the money. Next time, what do you say? It was different from the previous ones. A woman tried to pick me up, but I got in the way. It was a big, stocky man. I didn't get a good look at his face. Marin, the fact that your dream has gotten bigger. It's been updated with new details. That makes sense. The events of the past few days have inspired your subconscious mind to paint new colors. You recognized that you'd have me chirpy, and your subconscious drew it all out. I'm totally confused. I feel like there's some kind of conspiracy going on around me. I mean, look at it this way. The minute a man shows up who decides to tell me the truth about my family, he gets killed. Isn't that weird? It's weird, of course. But there's an explanation for that, too. Let's say, let's say your fiancé is right. And you were indeed being lured into a trap, but the motives could be different. As a journalist, your figures were able to thwart many powerful and dangerous people. On the other hand, it could just be blackmail. He told you a story about your parents and lured you out. We killed him. Well, who knows how many like you he's got, and he's still crossing the road. Central Command Investigation Division, Senior Lieutenant Volchok. Hi. Yeah, Chuckles. Tell me, please. Have you seen anyone strange around here in the last week or two? Maybe someone you don't know came by? Well, everything I knew, I told your co-workers a long time ago. By the way, I'm the one who heard the shooting and called the police. The house had been empty since the funeral of Semyonovna's landlady. A week before the shooting, I was walking alone. I've been hanging around the house. I asked him who it was he'd lost, and he's not related to Semyonovna. Is that him? 
He... he comes out, and he's killed. That's how it works. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, Kay. Hey! Run me through all the information on our Semyonovna. Urgent. Urgent. That's all great, of course. But you'll hear me at last. We have no right to disseminate adoption information. Take the adoptive parent and the children with him to court, and then with the court's decision. Come back to us, there's no other way. It's just that one in two of the adopters are dead. There's a death certificate. If both adoptive parents are dead, much less a court of law, nothing will happen quickly in your case. Believe me, I understand you very well. And it's not the first to come up with this request. But there's a law about adoption secrecy. There's a hell of a lot in there, of course, but we can't violate it. Thank you. Marin. I thought you'd come here. I'm so predictable. Or are you following me? Why would I do that? We've known each other since we were kids. You never backed down. What did they say? You went to court. Said he had no right to disclose the adoption. Makes sense. You're coming in my office. I have a better idea. Let's go. Where to? Let's just try your problem. Let's go. Let's go. Hi! Well, I found our Semyonovna's relatives. Well, how can I put it? Just a second. Zavulov had no relatives either. Or rather, they were. Daughter died in a fire, 97. And the son-in-law? Died with her. And Semyonovna died two weeks later. Her heart failed. I see. No prints, no casings, no witnesses, no evidence of trespassing. It's like he was waiting for the killer, or he waited for someone to kill him. You think it's a journalist? No, of course not. In addition to the gunshot to the head, his body was found to have a great many bruises and abrasions. The man of Italy and done by a professional. He left no trace, cleaned up after himself. Although it could have been an accomplice. Here you go, found in a food powerhouse. What do you mean? Man or he was hungry. And really didn't want to part with it. You know what it opens. The question is what? Where? Serial number says it's from a safety deposit box. But Gogan is... it's a question. Thank you, Vitya. You know what? Zone. I will. Got the assignment. Got it. Let me find out what bank. Because the killer was definitely looking for that key. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go talk to Nikolaeva. Need I remind you what the colonel said? And we won't tell him. <laughs> All right, Chuckles. That's it. Okay, okay, let's get started. Well, he'll help. Where will he go? He works for his father. At the very least, will it tell us what we should do next? Why did you decide not to help? You didn't believe I could be adopted, did you? I still don't believe it. Except it's easier to agree with you than to try to talk you out of it. 
Yeah, don't forget. Don't forget we've already got that to prepare for. Hello. Here, Sax. Surprise. Uh, hello. You would have warned me. I would have sent the students for coffee. How about some tea? I have the green ones and calming down. Thanks. We won't be long. I need your help, Yevgeny Markovich. Yeah, yeah. And I'm listening very carefully. Anyway, Marina thinks she's adopted. I don't believe it, of course. But how can you change her mind? Marinochka Vladimirovna. It's a blast. That's what I'm saying. But our journalist needs ironclad proof. So, uh, what can I do to help? I was at the registry office. I wanted to find out specifically about the biological parents. I was sent away. They went to court. Well, that makes sense. On the adoption secrecy law. There's no other way. Well, you can help. I'm not good at this stuff. Uh, sure. Sure, I'll help you, Head. Well, I should warn you right off the bat. It's not a quick fix. We need to prepare a court petition. And you've already been given a witness to the General's death. Yes. That's great. Well, I'll see if the filing procedure's changed. And immediately let you know. I think in about six months, a year, you'll see that Vladimir Georgi Veronika Andreevna. There are your very own parents. What about before? Unfortunately, no. It's so, sweetheart. That's their procedure. Marish, don't be upset. I'll talk to Markovich. Let him speed up the process. It's not going to speed things up. I'm making Alda crazy. I'm sure Markovich will think of something. Marina Vladimirovna, I don't need to ask you a couple of questions. I answered all the questions in the deposition. It's important. Did you hear my fiancé? If there are any questions, send a subpoena, or whatever it is. Marina Vladimirovna, I suggest we put all our disagreements behind us and talk calmly. Preferably without witnesses. Not true, I need your help. I see it's getting to you tight. Don't do what? Go home, and I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, what do you mean, home? Tom, please. It's okay. All right, Chuckles. What do you say? Lemonade, would you like some? No, thank you. And I think modern journalists use the voice recorder in their phone. You see, the father will be a good father. Give me the cassette. I'm very sorry about Vladimir Gorkovich. Get to the point. I don't have time for civility. Yeah, okay. Did you know Sacrifice? I already told you. No, we haven't had a chance to get to know each other. He was already dead. How did you end up at the murder scene? That's what I've been saying too, accidentally. You're on your way. I didn't have a good ear. Maria Vladimirovna, please. Let's not have girlfriends or any of that nonsense. I know you didn't kill him. But I don't have the slightest doubt that you were there for a reason. Well, I have nothing more to say. I'm sorry, business. Well, it means that's not what you were looking for. This was discovered by the food these victims were eating. Apparently, he was trying to hide it from the killer. Key. I want to know the truth. Marina Vladimirovna, that's enough, Yulievich. Paris, not Vladimirovna. You don't get it, do you?
Andrei Anatolievi? Nicholas, you were adopted by your father. You want to know the details? Come back tomorrow at 22. 25. Well, you'll find out from here. The police came and detained me. Well, you didn't tell me all that. They made up this fairy tale about a girlfriend. It's like a kindergarten. When I saw you interviewed, I thought you wouldn't believe me. Marina Vladimirovna, first and foremost, I'm a professional, and it doesn't matter what happened between us back in the day. And yes, I do feel like you were trying to be trapped. I'll take it. Do you know what bank this safe deposit box might be in? Yes. What do you got? The victim's name is Andrei Anatolievich. Formerly a senior police lieutenant. Militia. That's right. Was convicted of 10 years for abuse of power, beating a suspect to death. Got the wife's address. Oh, that's great. Send me a message on my phone. Wait, wait, wait. That's not all. Internal investigation into the then major of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Vladimir Georgievich Nikolaev. What happened? Sergey, wait. I'll go with you. I want to ask her personally why he texted me. It's pretty self-explanatory. Either Levy went cuckoo while he was in jail, so he decided to get revenge on Nikolaev by dealing with you, or decided to extract moral compensation from you for the inconvenience he's caused you. What is this nonsense, anyway? I'm in there with my dad. I'll do it. Nicholas was an influential man always traveling with security and with a driver. There was just no way to get near him. I mean, the fact that you killed right after he gave me the note is embarrassing. And the key? That's an accident, too. If he really wanted to give it to me. Maybe in my parents' info box. Well, if that's the case, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, you're just like I always thought you were. A vainglorious, principled egomaniac. K spit on the lap. Have a seat. Just don't get in my way. I'm exactly the right address. I really do. The fire was recent. The house is still flying. Good afternoon. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Are you the police? Yeah, we're the police. Senior Lieutenant Volchok. Uh-huh. And who are you exactly? Yeah, I'm a neighbor. I live right next door. Dirt new Pavel Ivanovich. They also thought we were police. It's a hell of a thing. Yeah, murky. Just some kind of story. I told the firefighters all of this. What the what? They were watering it down to a bulb. All tax and leave. What did you say? I think it's arson. Well, look, there was a fire in the night. Here you go. And the day before, I saw Tamara, well, the neighbor, the owner of this house. She was in a big hurry. Personally saw her loading into a cabbie with her daughter and a suitcase. And you know, he looked so scared. Well, can you... Where were you late? I was running out to catch an airplane and forgot to turn off the iron. There's the fire. And that's out of the question. Here's the fire department. They all say it's electrical. It's just bullshit. I personally rewired all the electrical in this house myself. Well, while Andriyuka was sitting, and I, you know, I do my due diligence. Yeah, I got the whole village running to me. Yes. Thank you for the information. Thank you. Well, you guys figure it out. Uh, sure. Have a nice day. Good luck. Pike, hi. Please check the train station and the airport. Yeah, I was checking in for a flight. Levi's wife on something. Yeah, 
I'll look into her friends and acquaintances she might have spent the night with. Uh-huh. Come on. Thank you. What are you planning to do? I'll test your theory, whether you're adopted or not. Then get in line and beware of patience. I went to the registry office. They sent me to court. It'll be a long time before we get a permit. Alexander Nikolaevich, good afternoon, darling. I need your help. Ordinance to release the establishment information one person at a time. Of course, my case. Yes. That's great. I'll send you all the information right away, on the phone. Okay, well, we've solved your problem. In the meantime, let's go. So, not taking your hands? No. You seem like a smart guy, Arteta Durak. You should have stayed with her. The cop could have pressured him into a headlock. And who knows what she told him and how he uses it. I don't want to push her myself. She's having doubts about the wedding. When he opens his mouth, he changes the subject. Or maybe it's not the wedding she's questioning. What about you? I'm doing everything I can to make sure she doesn't hesitate. I even took her to Markovich to help her get her parents' information. Well, yeah. So what, Gorstein? I promised to prepare a petition to the court. He said it would take time. At least a year, I think. You're a much better friend than a warrior. Worried. I'll call you. I especially barely have the whole teaching thing down. The case is old, so they didn't have time to digitize it. I made you a copy. Yes, you're really adopted. Your biological parents' names were Boris and Larissa Trashina. Maybe outside, take a look. I gotta get home. Oh yes, of course, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. So I really wanted to tell me the truth but someone was very much against it. And you didn't tell anyone about the note before you go on your way. Artem Mor Ostrovsky. My therapist. You think, Artem, why would he want you? I don't know. But if it's him, he's sure to find out. I'm sorry, I have to go. Thank you so much for your help. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have known who my parents were for a long time. Nonsense. Plus, it's relevant. Here you go. Take it. Just in case. I'll call so you have my number. Uh-huh. Just in case. Goodbye. Marina Vladimirovna. Just don't tell your fiancé about our conversation yet. I don't believe it's him, but I promise not to say anything. Thank you.
Well, it's been that long. What are you doing here? Maybe we should get together. It's a deal. And you didn't pick up the phone? I was worried. Sorry, I've been busy. Take the road. Do I think you're jealous? Maybe I'm jealous. You two have some kind of past together. You have nothing to worry about. We crossed paths at work. Can you elaborate on that? It's a long story. I'm in no hurry. I was investigating a real estate developer. There's illegal logging and bribery. I was going to publish material of his batting and getting killed. There were enemies among the competitors. Bottom line. My article loses relevance, watery ones appear, I'm not in the material. And the investigator, so the cases mean Volok. Hi, I'm going to Volok. Did you have a deal? Sergei Nikolaevich, always good to see me. I'm sorry, but I can't let you in without an appointment. And Serioga, she's been looking for you. Uh-huh, I found it. And Sergei, a few questions on the case. Seva himself. Do you suspect anyone? It was a contract killing. And the investigation. No questions asked. You think you have the professionalism to investigate this murder. You're too young. According to my information, the customers. This murder. With serious, very powerful people. And you don't have to worry about my professionalism. I'm in my own better mind. Run after me with your nose. If you have any information, customer, out. Write a statement. We'll look into it. And if not, don't mess around. It's because of people like you that criminals go free. You're all exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. You're the one who doesn't think with your head when you're writing. Well, of course, for you the main thing is ratings, hype, or whatever you call it. Likes and reposts. Jurna whore. Jurna hookers? That's funny. Suit yourself. The most principled name I've ever met. But the other is usually easy to negotiate with. So how did the story end? Nothing to me. The article, it didn't come out that way. For him, his father found out about the conflict, flew the entire department. Wolochka was even demoted. But they still think it's me. Isn't it you? No, of course not. Why would I do that? Yes. What? That she never complained to her father. So, what did he want today? No reason. I just thought I'd check again. I'm gonna go to the house and see if I saw anyone suspicious. You want coffee? Where are you going? End of the day, home. You'll get there in time. Sit down. Okay, I need you to run the numbers right away. 30, 20. Really quit. No privacy with your quirky burrows. Pike, your personal life is computers, smartphones, and other electronics. And you need a girl. Like you, who's to say? About Levi, what? Violate something. Okay, Levi. There is no bank account, no real estate, but there's something very interesting about his wife. Why don't you say anything? I say let's get on with it. I'll allow it. Go ahead. Thank you. One of her accounts receives the same amount of money every month, and not a small one at that. The first tranche went through the day Levy was locked up. Interesting. The key isn't theirs, I found out. Good for you. You're gonna make a very good trail. Yeah, you don't. Wolfie out. Do you work? Run the plates. The numbers worked out. Hello, Mikhail Petrovich. Hello, Mikhail Petrovich. I wish.
Did you do it? Yes. Here's everything he's got. Sit down. Comrade Colonel, there's a hole in your car. Where did the request come from? From Central Police Headquarters. There's a problem, Mikhail Petrovich. Work. Say it. Don't worry about it. Won't cause any more problems. History is murky, Comrade Colonel. The Pike Gap, her account. Look, I don't understand, Wolfie. Well, what's wrong with you? I told you. Forget about that journalist. Don't go near her. Asked for. So why'd you go to her? I'm telling you, there were questions. It's not as simple as that. Nikolai Fedorovich. In these moments of aloofness, I'm your man. Will you give everything you found to Garkushin? Are you serious? Sergevich, we can't do without him. And if you keep sticking your nose in this case, I'll organize these wolf tickets. I won't even take the PP I've learned. And internalized. Permission to go, Comrade Colonel. Id. What do you got? I'm screwed, aren't I? Make it out of Bush Nicky. I'm running the Colonel's car. Kulichi Mikhail Petrovich. The SBU Colonel is not being followed by journalists. They have specially trained people to do that. You know, they think it's different. Keep me posted. What are you gonna do? Same thing I did. Only now it's unofficial. All right, run me through Levi's wife. And don't forget the key. Look, why do you need that journalist? She's nothing but trouble. Let Garkashai handle it. Oh, hey, and we were just talking about you. Hi. Did the Colonel say to come in and take the case? Yeah, here, Pikey. I'll tell you all about it. Tomorrow. All tomorrow. What a bunch of bums.
Ah, uh, sure. The fire, it happened at night. Under the conclusion of the emergency, the fire did not ignite, and it's followed by the children's wiring. The business deliberately his wife managed to move, none of them were hurt. Brother and sister, it turns out. What, you haven't gone to bed yet? I've been working too hard. Mushayev had a download yesterday, and Andrei looking. I wish he'd put you on vacation. I just buried my father here. In what? It's okay. I'm working on what I need right now. Well, get ready. I was in the office. Masha said it's your day off. And to call, I wasn't allowed to. Or you've never heard of a cell phone. I have yoga today. And I'm not having a phone conversation. It's your article. I thought you were in mourning. You didn't have a twitch. Well, it turns out you're all about the work. It's an article dinner. What are you asking for? It's about my parents. My real parents. I don't get it. Is this some kind of joke? You can tell I'm kidding. Ser Yoga, hi. Whoops, that's great. Demon, how many years? How many winters? Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time, Zin. And Dmitry Alexandrovich, please. Better yet, Major Flomeyev. Major. Yes. The last time I saw you. You went to the old me. Yeah, when was it, Sereg? If it wasn't for your bad temper, you'd have gotten a major long ago, too. If only. Thank you. And I'll have an Americano, please. Thank you. So, come on, tell me, what's this conversation you're having? What's on the phone? I wanted to inquire about one of your employees. Colonel Coolidge. You know what the big deal is? Of course I do. Everyone knows him. A pole can with a name, decorations. From what, you ask? No reason. A friend of mine has some business with him. Asked me to find out. What can you tell me about him? Man, tough, strong-willed. He doesn't let his subordinates get away with it. I told you, with a name. It's serious out there. You got it? Sergey, if you have any questions for him, be careful. You don't want to mess with a guy like Street. He's sensitive and very... I mean... His fate is complicated. Four years ago, my wife and daughter were in a car accident. Interesting. You know, you really do look like Larissa. Yeah, and not just in appearance. Just as talented and stubborn. We worked together. Kravna. It says she was a journalist, but I couldn't find any articles. Well, she was under a pseudonym. Lara Wright. That's where the model journalist comes in. She set the bar so high for all of us. Anything? If it weren't for this tragedy, I'd definitely get the policeman's prize one day. 
Now. Look, there she is in the newsroom with the guys. And here she is nine months pregnant with your brother. I was nine months pregnant, I didn't quit my job. There you go. Do you know what internet sent them? Are you going to look for them? Uh, sure. Of course, now my only kinfolk. You're a miracle we survived that fire. Sorry mom and dad died? Yes. I doubt they died about her, accidentally. What do you mean? Just like a spy? Almost. I'm a journalist. Well, where's that promised call? Kostya. Hi. Marina Vladimirovna is home. Mom, what is it? Honey, uh... What's in it for you? There's new information from the investigation. I want to check with him about something. What kind of information? I can't say you're a legacy. So what's he on at home? No, she's not. Then please give me the phone number. I thought it was clear she was traded last time. All questions to Marina through a subpoena and in the presence of an attorney. Otherwise, you're guaranteed a problem. Does that sound clear? Yeah, you want to go nowhere. One more question. And where were you the night of Andre Levy's murder? What are you doing? You're fucking crazy. He's out of here. Yes. Sergey, hello, it's Marina. Hi. I've been waiting for your call. Yeah, well, well, not what I was expecting. I mean, you said you'd dial in just in case. Now that the occasion has come, I have something I need to discuss with you. Sorry, completely out of my head. I need to talk to you about something. Maybe I'll meet you in the park in 20 minutes. At the fountain? All right, chuckles. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Sergey, wait. That's my number. Sign me up, please. Yeah, I got it. I'll write it down. Now. In just 20 minutes at the fountain? I apologize for his rudeness. Artem, sometimes he can be a little too bold. It's okay. Only I thought he'd already reported my bat. Apparently, he didn't make it. What did you want to talk about? You know the name Kulowich. Kulish. I guess so. Oh, that's right. Colonel of the SBU. I wrote about him, an article, once upon a time. Well, or rather, a tragedy in his family. And Varya? A wife to die for? A daughter? I don't even know. Valyana. The doctors don't believe she'll come out of the coma. Why do you ask? He's watching you. I saw his car outside your house. Interesting. Something I need to get rid of. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with Levi's murder and your adoption. And we're not connected. What did you want to talk to me about? My boss. Gennady Mushai had him with my mom. 
She came to him the night before the fire and told him about her father's problems. He got involved with some gangsters, my mom found out, and a week later they died in a fire. Well, what kind of bandits, you know? In the 90s, there was a lot of it. That's what he didn't say. But he's already launched an investigation into the case. But some brothers showed up and threatened his family, and he had to cover up. I looked in the archives. If it's a felony, the case should still be there. Also... I have a brother and a sister. The older Masha and the younger Sasha. We were sent to boarding school immediately after the fire. We'll find them. Yes, Ser Yoga. There is a suggestion where Levy's wife might be. Her sister lives two hours away. Great, send me the address. What? We should go somewhere interesting. Let's go. Looks like it's here. Hey, there's leather. We're not buying anything. Investigator Volchok at Central Police Headquarters. We're looking for Tamara Levy. It's your sister. So, sister, so what? I haven't seen her in three months. Where could it be? Her husband's body was found a few days ago. Andrew Levy. We'd like to ask a couple questions. She's not here. I don't think I can help you. You're leaving? You don't have to stand. And here. Did you see how she triggered our deaths? No, so it's nothing new to her. Where to? I'll tell you everything. It's all you! This is all your fault! It's your fault. You're Nikolai. If it weren't for you... Andre was already there. Quiet! Shh, calm down. Tamara, calm down. We want to find the real killers ourselves. My husband's. It's Andreyusha's handwriting. Why did you say Marina was responsible for his death? It was his! Last case. I saw your picture in his files. I also asked who it was. He answered the Night Warden. Then, though, he got better right away. Reception? Warden. I mean, your husband was Nikolaev's husband. He didn't. And it's official. Running errands. What errands? I don't know. I, uh, I stayed out of it. And the money that comes into your account is payment for work. First, it's compensation for the powers that be. Then the payment for the work. What do you mean, compensation? For Nikolaev putting him away? Planted. He saved him. Tamara, please tell me everything you know. And in detail. Andrew Nicholas was no saint. And before he killed the man... Belt with the bandits. Actually, like his suspected chests. Sundukov stole money from his superiors. Andre had to find out where he was to find them. Sudko, we got him. Called Andre. Well, you tried. You tried. And the information about the money went down with the detainee. The Odets started demanding money from Andre. There was such a huge amount of money in there. We never had that in our lives. They decided to kill him. 
If it hadn't been for your father, he'd have done the time. Maximal. For such a misdemeanor. Wait if Nikolaev resolved the conflict and saved your husband's life. Why was he managing the money? Maybe Andre recognized the money, told the general, and the general paid him to keep quiet. Put him in jail so Andre wouldn't get to him. I don't know. I don't know anything. We found this key in your husband's hands. You don't know what a wave is? Testa. Hello! I thought Dad? Yeah, chuckles. No, Scopa won't be on a business trip for a while. I'll go, let's go. I see Mom has company. How about some tea or coffee? No, thank you. I don't know how to tell her. She's so looking forward to it. Last question. You left home very quickly. Have you been threatened? One of them showed up. Waving his gun, he started going through Andre's things. I said, my husband will be back soon. He's not coming back. He wanted to kill me. The little one got in the way. And I saw him run! Run! Don't come back! That's him. Hello, she needs help. Hello. We should get together. There's a case. It's certainly not good. What's up? I can't breathe. Hanging. Where? A rogue, more like a horse, more like a horse, more like a horse. A quarter century retired, the habit of building everyone up still is. These hustlers would have no one to discipline. Okay, I'll take it from here. What's your big case that you came straight to the bullets? Let's step back, sit down, talk. Let's go. I may be old, but I still have my memory. Delaware. Be damned. The latest in my stellar career. Why do you ask? One of the daughters showed up. Helping to clear up the picture of their demise. What's there to clarify? And the case, you might say, was not an accident. Well, the official version, I know. I'm not interested in your opinion. The last time I voiced my opinion, I was immediately asked to leave. So you think they were killed? No, I don't think so. I'm sure. I knew right away something was wrong. A palace like this, and there's a wiring problem. And then there's the forensics almost retroactively. So, Stepanovich, do you mind if I write all this down? Rish? Did Nikolai get mixed up with the bandits? If Labina was working for him, why did he choose to tell the whole truth to salt him? Well, maybe the general wanted to tell you too, but he didn't have time. What's the connection between Nikolai of Kulesh? How did I get him here? 
Who knows? Or maybe Tamara's version is the working one. Clivy Uno where the money is. Coolidge found out about it. You don't think it's in the box? Anything can happen. Coolidge found out where the money is. I decided to take them for myself. Torturing Levi, and you just happened to be there. A bunch need to be arrested, yes, Beg. I'm sure he'll tell a lot of interesting things. Yeah, that'd be great. But we have no basis for arresting a man of that caliber. A colonel of the SBU. If the Key's daughter is alive and still in a coma, it's expensive to keep her. Is that a motive? Remember what Tamara said when he saw her daughter? He didn't kill them. I mean, this girl worked like a trigger for him. You'd make a good investigator. And we make a pretty good team. Where to next? Well, where do we keep the coma patients? We need to find out right away. Yes, Tom. Is it urgent? It's not like it's time. Are you coming soon? Still busy. Is everything okay? It's okay. Waiting for you. Well, I'll be there in an hour and a half at the earliest. I'm sure it's fine. No one was looking for me. Yeah, I don't think so. All is quiet. I see. Marina, let's go. It'll close. Who are you in there with? No one. Okay, come on, bye. See you tonight. Well, it's all right there. Don't worry. The girl wants Levi's eldest child, which means it was the same number at the time of the camaraderie. Well, that explains why the chicken didn't kill them. They're even something similar. Excuse me, are you related to any of the patients? Hi. Your attending physician, Sofia Kulowicz, yes. We're interested in her condition. What happened? Don't worry, we're friends. Father, Sonia, Mikhail Petrovich. I see. Well, what can I tell you? The girl's in a deep coma. Chances are she'll come out of it. Well, almost none. Almost. So there's still a chance. A one in a thousand chance. But Mikhail Petrovich is four years old. He's all he's holding on to. He's laying down that kind of money. It's a good thing he found a fund. What fund? The name, remember? That's confidential information. But you may ask, Mikhail Petrovich, aren't you friends? Yes. Uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Mikhail Petrovich. Demansky is bothering you. Today was a productive day. Gotta digest from the voluminous information now. I'll check the archives I did, and we'll fry. And I'll see if I can find your brother and sister. It won't be easy, they probably have different last names. We'll figure it out. Thank you. I'm glad you decided to investigate this case with me. Me too. And let's switch to you. Come on. All right, I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch.
Thank you so much for the surprise. But he was ready three hours ago. Sorry I'm late. What's the banquet in honor of? Do you really need an excuse to make your loved one feel good? Well, it's nice. You can do it in many different ways. Telling the truth, for example. What's that about? Why didn't you tell me the investigator came to see me? Which means he really was with you. What did he want? You didn't answer the question. Look, it pisses me off that he's asking you questions. And then murder. What's that got to do with you? What about you? What do you mean? Who did you tell about the note? He's the one who screwed you over. You think I killed that man? You didn't answer the question. I didn't tell anyone anything. And I didn't kill anyone. How could you even think such a thing? Indeed, it's an amazing coincidence. The minute I told you the notes, Levi was killed. You don't believe me? I think you should go. Seriously? What is this nonsense? I'm very serious, Artem. It's not bullshit. You're so beautiful. She's a real princess. How would I like a little girl? Don't worry. Will you have your own princess? I will. You'll see. How are you guys doing? Did you miss me? Look who's here, Marish. Come here, my dear. There you go. That's it. Missed my daddy. What did you take in the dolls? Yes. Good for you. I'm really gonna quit. I actually have today off. And if it wasn't for you, I'd be sitting at home, drinking a coffee cake described review of the new Legend Game Shooter. If it wasn't for me, Pike, you'd have been in jail a long time ago, writing letters on the outside. So go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Found something. Checked everything, it's empty. Well, really? An accident. Or the Emily case. What about the key? Anything? Yeah, I don't think I will. All of these keys are the same, and it's almost impossible to know from which specific bank. And it's not even a fact that he's from a bank. Few places where this cell could be installed. And can you find out what fund is being used to transfer the money for the patient's treatment? We need to hack into the hospital's accounting department. Which means you can't. We'll have to find someone else. What do you mean the other one? What do you mean I can't? I can. I just need more water and time. That's where you should have started. Here it is. Follow me. I'm coming. Quick, I'm running. Wait for me. I'll give you the water ones. In the meantime, put all those folders back in the archives. Are you serious? Very serious. Holy shit. Well, are you scared, Nikolai Fedorovich? I'm just so busy. What are you doing? Running after Nikolaeva? Or trying to get Krestovsky? 
Maybe I should spend a little less time in hospitals. What are you doing, Wolfie? I suspended you. Who's reporting this to you? Comrade Colonel? Could it be Kristofsky personally? About you. You don't have to worry. They report and they report. I'm tired of babysitting you, XO. My, if you'd just be me already. I apologize for the indelicate question. What's your connection to Kristofsky? Have you lost your fear? What are you implying, puppy? Get out of here! And I want the report on my desk. Out, I said! Yeah, or me. Hello. Hello, Marina. Are you all right? You missed your session last night. Sorry, slipped my mind. I've been running around all day. On the heat, of course, for not being warned. I've had people asking for me. How's your search going? I hope you've given up this pernicious endeavor. In general, detrimental. I recognized my soon-to-be parents specifically. True, they are long gone, but I know the truth about my origins. What are you saying? Can't wait to hear the details. Who were they? You know, I'm busy. Let's talk about the session. Yeah, 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 sure. Yes, Gennady Stepanovna, is something wrong? Okay, here's the deal. I found out what kind of organized crime your father was involved with. Yeah, come on, how? What difference does it make how? Don't interrupt. His classmates got him involved. Like classmates? Well, you know? Well, of course I do. Look, what kind of person are you? You won't let me talk. Go on. Uh, well, uh, look, this isn't a phone call, so here's the deal. When you're free, come to my place. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I'll try to be quicker. Yeah, it's a deal. Sorry, I have to go to my place. Someone's here. Hello. You must have the wrong door? No, it's not. I'm at the right place. I'm really digging it, aren't I? It's me. Marina recognized who her real parents were. Okay, I get it. It's gonna be a long time before he's out of the way. He was fired. He won't cause any more problems. Before that, he was suspended, but that didn't help. I doubt it will help now. I want him to back off. You're starting to get a lot of questions. Screws her up. He doesn't see me at all. Well, what do you want from me, Arte Eduardovich? I don't know. Put pressure on it. Give him a good kick in the ass so he forgets the way back to her. And if that doesn't work? Get rid of it. Money's no problem. I'll think about it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to my daughter's. I'm waiting for your call. Tighten it up.
studied the materials to the conclusion of the Wolfman has nothing to add. He was clearly a professional. No evidence, no cameras, no witnesses. We also have another grouse, comrade colonel. I'm just getting to the point. Okay, so it's all in the folder. All right, you have two days to find the killer. I'm not interested in how the case should be closed. I hope you understand what I'm saying. That's right. Nikolai Fedorovich, I've been thinking, Levi is an ex-cop. He must have gotten in trouble in the zone. It's possible that he's been harassed on the outside by former sleepers. That's a great version, and we'll work through it. You're free to go. Do it. Take it. Yes. Sugar, wait. Pull up inmate information, see who got out of Love Colony in the past year, and check all his social media and mail correspondence. I already checked, all the reports are filed. Well, check again, and request Bellinks for his phone records. Okay, and I will. Where are you going? I'll go to the cherry tree, I'm asking the neighbors. Maybe the wolf missed something. Maybe we can pull in a domestic. Hi. Holding, across the board. It's a copy of Levy's old case file. And all we got is a man he killed, a certain Valeri, Chests. Often involved, so he's got a whole file on him. Well, okay. Any news on the Foundation? Ah, uh, no. Surprisingly, this hospital accounting department has a very steep defense. Oh, come on. Uh-huh. Okay, you keep working. I believe in you. What is it, Harpoon? Violate anything. Well, what about it? Don't you know, Gush? But Yapashev gave him two days to find a scapegoat. Is he worried about statistics? Well, I don't think it's about statistics at all. What do you mean? What else? It doesn't matter. Go back to work. Listen, Father. Did the rapport blow? Not yet. Wait, Comrade Colonel. Run. Giddy Stepanovich. Giddy Stepanovich, open up! Gennady Stepanovich, can you hear me? Um, hello. Sergey, I need your help urgently. What's wrong? My boss is missing. I've just been under his door, but he won't open it, and he's not answering his cell phone. Although, I did hear him on his cell phone in the apartment. Marina, why did he disappear right away? Maybe he left his cell phone and walked out. It happens. Did you call work? Called. Didn't show up today. I checked all the neighbors. No one's seen him. Excuse me, have you seen Genity Stepanak from the 8th? No, he doesn't. I wonder what happened to him. She called this morning and said he found something important on my parents' case. Asked me to come over right away. Marina, calm down. I'm sure your Gennady Stepanovich will be found. You're the one who needs to lay low. Things are picking up, getting unpredictable. You're not going to hide from anyone. I have to figure this out. You know, I have to. Can you come? No. Yes, I can, but not right now. I have a very important meeting. Let me call you later. Please be careful. Hi. Hi. Do you want coffee? Uh, no, thank you. I won't be here long, Seryoga. It's a roof case.
This is the police. I want to report a murder. I have it on good authority that Kulik is a conspiracy. I'll say more than that. And I'm 99 and 9 percent. I'm sure Lou Levy has it exactly right. Quiet. Quiet, Serioga. Why are you yelling? You have proof. So far, only indirectly. Levy's wife said he came by the night of the murder looking for something, showed him and his daughter away. Witnesses? Surveillance video? No. Twelve-year-old daughter. Well, then it's just words for now. I know, but I'll find proof. And also in cahoots, except Couch is involved. Artem Kristovsky and Ep. Okay, Sir Yoga, stop. Come on, you find the evidence first. And then you're gonna blame two big-name colonels for a powerful businessman. In the meantime, that conversation has not happened. Okay, I'll show you. One more. Not as a favor, but as a friend. About himself through Boris Troshin's channels for his connection to LNG from Nikolaev. I will, I'm right. Where are you going, Dennis? Hello. I was the one who called it in. Hi. Well, where's the murder here? Here we go. Closed. You have to knock it out. It's your apartment. My boss, Janadi Mushayev, I suspect you may have killed. Suspecting? I mean, it's not accurate. Well, you do realize you're looking at a fine for making a false call. They're false. Gennady Stepanovich, editor-in-chief of an independent internet publication. He introduced a dangerous investigation. We agreed to meet. I can't reach him. I can't reach him. Max summoned the elevator. Hello. My name is Marina Nikolaeva. I am a journalist. Now I'm going to show you what's called a policeman. The police officers, I'm on a possible location. Crimes refuse to fulfill their direct responsibilities. I believe that these heroes the country should know their faces. Here they are. Dear, turn off the camera. Stop being so hot. Maybe your boss is out of town. Or maybe he got drunk and fell asleep in there. He's been around for ten years. He doesn't drink anything stronger than coffee. And he couldn't leave. We agreed. So you make the door. Otherwise, I'll make you famous all over the internet. And I don't think your boss would like that. Serioga, stop. Let you find the proof first. And then you'll blame two prominent colonels and a powerful businessman. Evidence. Hello. Good for you for not throwing a tantrum, grown-up style. Ready to make recommendations if needed anywhere. And strangers. Thank you, I'm fine. You closed all the cases, and tales like that, I didn't. Don't worry, Nikolai Fedorovich. I didn't leave anything behind. No, I forgot. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot to put it in the file, found at autopsy and in the food case. Apparently the killer was looking for him. What do you mean? Comrade Colonel, with whom it will be. I'm gonna go find Gorkush. Is it worth it? Let me do it myself. Oh, that's it for sure. Goodbye.
Hi, we should get together. It's important. It's important for you, first and foremost. I'm sorry, but I have to ask you a few questions. How well did you know the victim? That's enough. He was like a father to me. Look, it's his handwriting. No, he couldn't. Is it or isn't it? His, but he didn't write it. He was forced to. I'm really sorry, but the facts say otherwise. Go, go, go. Vol dude, I'm gonna be a minute. What business? You screwed her up. Did you make me think I killed that man? First of all, I wasn't screwing with anyone. Just asked Marina who she told about the note. Not the time cop. You're putting Clinique up to it. What? Stockholm Syndrome woke up after the demotion. What syndrome? Do you understand? If you have any questions for Marina, ask her directly. I don't want to get involved in any of your squabbles. Don't you dare go near her. You hear that? Or I'll rip your head off, asshole. Can you switch it over? According to law enforcement, the man left a suicide note on the table in which he complained about work and asked that no one be blamed for his death. You can totally remind me that as a result of the suicide... Turn it on, switch it on... You take me to the Institute 30. The Institute is so 31. It's the other way. Then turn around. Good afternoon. Is Wolfie in? He left an hour ago. Where to? I have no idea. He doesn't report to me. Id. A Nikolaevich in Emanuel Place. How do you want to bet? Marina Nikolaeva, I have. Yeah, yeah. You can. Marina Vladimirovna, you are irresistible. As usual, though, to what do I owe the honor? It's about the Mushayev murder. Please accept my sincere condolences. I can't imagine what it's like for you right now. Only Vladimir Georgievich is gone, the boss. Only it's not about murder according to my information, it's about him. He couldn't. I told the cops he wouldn't do that. I think he was killed by Colonel Kulesh. What are you talking about, Marina Vladimir? I know Mikhail Petrovich personally. This is a man of crystal clear reputation. He was following me. Mushai and I are in Angli. We're involved, serious people, and Kulich could have gotten to him through me. Marina Vinovna, I understand your feeling and assume that your profession allows for some imagination, creativity. Fiction? We can't do that. We're law-abiding, and we only rely on facts. Suicide note. Urgent and logical examination confirmed that Mushiev wrote enlarged. Id. Thank you for your time. By the way, do you know where the Wolfman went? And he doesn't report to me anymore. 
The petty officer quit. How? That's right. By choice. All right, let's get started. Foam. Here's some hospital accounting for you. Here you go, sign your name. Well, you're dealing with a pike. I see, I see. What do you say like a creep? Did you find polywine? No, it's not. I'm a clod. The week of the split. Anyway, I punched in the internet activity of Levitch. Social media doesn't have him at all, and his email is spammy. For now. Also empty. Three of them came out, all with airtight alibis. One went back to prison after a couple weeks. The second went into monkhood, and the third died of cirrhosis of the liver a month ago. I've got nothing. Neighbors adequate, no drinking, no communication with him. You can't even pull it off. Well, that's the way it is. Maybe you shouldn't pull it in. Maybe we should find the real killer. Yeah, you'll find it here. Okay, I'm hungry as a dog. Are you okay? Uh, no, thank you. Have a good one. Hi. Right, and he was murdered. I'm sure of it. Well, everyone around here is trying to convince me that he's himself. He couldn't do it on his own. He loved life too much to do something like this. Marina, yes, sometimes the most cheerful and smiling people have serious psychological problems. You remember I told you about burnout. It may have happened to your boss. Anyway, can you hear me? He was still helping me with my investigation yesterday. Said he found some important information on the case. I decided to get high today. What are you talking about? Burnout stress. You have to help not piss you off. Maureen, I'm trying to help you. You realize that all of our problems are from stress. Well, of course, who would doubt it? Stress. Okay, you're no help at all. This is our last meeting. Maureen, wait a minute. Let's calm down. Let's discuss your dreams. You said your parents knew each other. I won't discuss anything else with you. Why? Is it all stress's fault? Marina. Telephone was. Manu Wise, we're at a stalemate. She doesn't believe me anymore. Said it was the last time we saw each other. Yes. Who do you answer to? What, Artem? What? Yeah, chuckles, cell phone rings. Hello? Why don't you say something? Don't you have anything to say? Don't you dare come near me again, asshole! What about you? And I'll write. After people know how you comply with the doctor's obfuscation. You're the one who ordered that guy. I only told you about the note. Are you out of your mind? Well, what do you do that you don't do anything else? You don't have to play innocent forever. Your pit bull did it. Coolidge, you got it. What an imaginative fly. He's made a real father out of me. You need to rest. Man, grabbing me is like talking to a kid. I'm a grown man. I'm a businessman. What about you? Puppy, you're a shithead, not a businessman. 
going? Remember once and for all that you run my business. If I want you out tomorrow, you're out of here, you understand? You don't have to bother. I'm on my way. Well, roll over. The pit bull did. And it's nothing that you ran to that pit bull yourself so that he could deal with that mint that hurt your poor man. What do you think I don't recognize? Get over here right now. Look, here's me showing you. Here's all the info I've dug up on the Foundation. The funny thing is, you know what? What? That the daughter from Flea is the only patient they're paying for treatment. In this hospital? Basically, it's an investment fund. All cash flows are related to construction, real estate purchases, and freight. In general, fields far removed from medicine. The fund's investors are a diverse range of businesses. So many interesting people on the board. How? Oh yeah, well, who doubt it? What is it? The president of the foundation, Artyom Aradovich Kristofsky. Thank you, very well done. Uh, sure, I spent half the day on my computer. No, can you give me a ride home to the subway? No, I've got some things to do while I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Did you hear about Mushayev? You know, the one who's your reporter's boss. No, what about him? I got poisoned this morning. I get it, I get it, I get it. By daughter. Money comes on time and without delays. Yeah, it's okay. Edward Nikolaevich, thank you very much. Are you aware that Nikoleva found out who her parents were? I'm aware of that. And why would I know that, not from you? That's all that's known. And how they died, and under what circumstances, she doesn't know. Misha, let's stick to the terms of our agreement. I'm giving you an assignment. You execute them and report the results. And I'm paying for your daughter's treatment. I got it. Well, that's good. Our psychologist is on the scene. Now you'll have to look after the girl alone. Maybe we should deal with her before it's too late. I see she's not the type to give up. And are there any problems? Sit down. It's not that. She doesn't believe Mushayev's suicide. He's proving to everyone that he was forced to take pills. You? Should we be worried? Yeah, no. I've made it clear. You can't undermine it. Well, keep an eye on her and there won't be any problems. What about the mint? You fire it and it won't come out. I think you should deal with him. Just nice and neat, like you do. There's something else I should know. The key to this box was found. I'm writing now. We're going out tonight. Oh, that's good. To the Colonel for his labors. Cheers, Misha. Thank you.
What was it you wanted to tell me? Oh, just like a spy. Almost. I'm a journalist. A journalist. Hello, cab. Cars on South Six. Hurry up. Come on. think he'll back off. I know, Wolochka. I don't think so. He's like pit bulls. Once you get a hold of him, you can't let go. We've seen more of them. I hope you're not going to. And boy, hard, long. Axe on his conscience. Major Flomeyev, we haven't talked this much since college. What's your pleasure? Your wife-to-be will make you happy. I'm on a case. Yours, by the way. Anyway, I asked around for his connections. You know, interesting character. He got into the business in the late 80s. Engaged in renovation and construction of cottages. Business in the open taxes paid on time, and that's why the income was so. But then it started to grow. It was either luck or familiarity. As for Nikolayev, well, I don't know how close, but they were friends. And it was Gronika Nikolaeva who introduced them. The general's wife and part-time classmate of Boris. Going back to business Roshan in my sudden heyday, there is a suspicion that he was laundering OPG money. That's why business is booming. 
but it was done in such a way that you can't undermine it. Hence, opinions vary. OPG. The leader of the chess was Valery Pavlovich, nicknamed the chest. Wait, wait, wait. How do you say chests? Exactly. Now deceased. Your Levi got him, but according to our intel, it was just a diversion. Real residence. He was a businessman called Crest, or as he is now commonly called, Edward Nikolaevich Krestovsky. It will not be possible to confirm this version. All that's left is rumors and three witnesses. But if that's the case, I take my hat off to Krestovsky then. Cool, he was organized. Thank you, Diamond. I owe you one. Oh, come on, you're gonna tell me what's what. You be careful. I don't know what you're getting into, but judging by the personalities, it's a very serious matter. Oh, come on, what could happen to me? Oh, by the way, I'll text you right now, and then something else a while later that's just a matter of evidence. It's a deal. I'm still waiting. Come on, bye. Okay, so Krestovsky himself. The money was stolen, Valery Pavlovich. Hello, Comrade Colonel. Why are you so restless? You'd be sitting at home, having a beer in front of the TV. You don't eat that kind of food. I've got a penny job. As far as I know, you're unemployed now. Thanks to you or your employer, Edward Nikolaevich. Well, I know it's hard to pay for your daughter's treatment on one salary. Did you say everything? Not yet. Well, that's how the Levee got killed. Shot in the head. Couldn't you have come up with something more interesting? Yes, I could, if it wasn't for your other wife. Where'd you hide them? Don't make me kill you. Go ahead. Scared and complaining, you should. I've got as many as you want. I'm not saying anything. Joke at the muzzle. Where are they? Well, to the Colonel. Finished. This fool had listened to the psychologist and Krastowski Jr. Levi would have killed himself from an accident. And so, so many senseless deaths. Mushayev, you. There's no turning back. 
Comrade Colonel, you don't have her at all. Nikolai Firstein was in charge of registering the children in the orphanage. That was a hell of a ride, huh? You're not suspended for nothing. Car, fire. I'm gonna put a spoiler on the cannon. Chushka Chan, five sec. I'm gonna step away from the Liu, or the Puchan just out. Come on. Yes. Hey, what's up? Not here? What is it? It's also a drill. Let's get out of here. He'll hang us in a pineapple. I'm calling the police. Come on. Marin, wait. No, not Masha, but wanting to talk to you. Look, we've known each other since we were in diapers. Why don't you just let me talk? You have five minutes. I didn't kill Levi, but probably had something to do with it. What can you do? I lied about not telling anyone about the note. Dad knew. We discussed it at Georgievich's wake. What did you do? I don't know. He went up in the 90s because he could theoretically order it. Just why would he do that? He didn't want me to know the truth about my parents. She found out. She found out. What's he care? What's the point of killing a man? I didn't want the truth about him to come out. What? I suspect your father killed my parents. What is this nonsense? It can't be. Yeah, I don't have proof yet. But I'll definitely look into it. I'm sorry, I gotta run. Where are you going? I want to meet one person who can tell me a lot of interesting things. Let me give you a ride. I'll be right behind you. Don't! It's not up for discussion. If everything you say is true, I have to be there for you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I need to tell you. We can't be together. We've known each other since we were kids. I love you very much, but only as a friend. I'm sorry. What about our wedding? You agreed to be for me, didn't you? I didn't want to get upset. It's like she was reading a wedding. You're our parents, she has. Please forgive me for being kind of hopeful. I hope you'll be happy. And don't forget to repeat for tomorrow's credit the subject, method, and principles of commercial law. Pay special attention to these very issues so that everyone knows everything by rote.
My tongue, Vladimirovna. Yabita, you're throwing a surprise party. I was just about to call you. I looked into the application process. I don't know. There's no need anymore, Yevgeny Markovich. I found out who my real parents were. Well? That's great. That's great. Congratulations. Well, if my humble experience it is no longer needed, let me take my leave. Work. What do you know about the deaths of Boris and Larisa Troshnik? Don't you? You know, I don't know. Are you confused? I'm sorry, I'd love to chat, but the students will be gone. I have my next lecture. Come in, I haven't heard anything either. What boarding school did you turn in? I have no idea what you're talking about. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for class. When I get to the truth, you and Krastowski won't be able to get away with it. Well, hello there, Senior Lieutenant. You're a tough one, aren't you? I told you to be careful. How did I end up here? How? Some thugs found you behind the garage. Lucky we called soon, they took it down. The doctors say he was born with his shirt on. Bullet lodged inside the pericardium. Where? Where? How can I explain this to you? Basically, it's that kind of masculine space between the heart and the thin protective membrane. You know what I mean? I told you nothing would happen. It's my destiny to die yet. Yes. Well, there's no better way to put it. Did you see that? Who did the shooting? Coolish. We'll need to request ballistics. Have them compare the bullets pulled out of me and Levi. I'm sure it's from the same weapon. Kole has confessed to everything himself. You wrote it down. He took me by surprise. We've got ballistics. I've already taken it. Except there may be issues with the charges. The word of a fired police officer who continually ignores orders from his superiors versus the word of SBU's star colonel. You know what I mean? The village is not equal. Did you find the casing? No. He has the foresight to take them with him. I see. Well, you do not despair, Sergei. Can we think of something? I promise. In the meantime, go ahead and rest, get your strength back. What congratulations are in order? The department knows I survived. No. No one knows. I ordered everyone to be quiet. I have to tell you. Also, if possible, catch up with the press. I have this clear what a slime ball we are. Come on, come on, come on, spill it! It wasn't as neat as I wanted it to be, but no one can touch it. I cleaned it up. Watch out for the gills. The investigator took it from you a long time ago. What if I told someone? He's got nothing on me. And if I told you, it's just a girl, and I'm writing. And I write in mine and will not blab, but for Nikolaeva. Oh, stubborn, just like her mother. She came by Gorstein's today. Is that so? Mine didn't return my calls. 
judging by the fact that she walked out on him almost immediately. The conversation was short. He's not stupid. Knows what will happen to him if he opens his mouth. Well, answer it, answer it, I'm not shy. Is he alive? Misha, what are you doing? I'm warning you, I didn't sign up for this. I asked you nicely. It's fine. Oh, calm down. I don't know who's got a grudge against your wolf. He's a pain in the ass, you know. What do the doctors say? What's his condition now? Dava's out, and they say he'll survive. You paged me, comrade colonel? I did. Uh, hold on. Yes. Anyway, I'll call you with any information. Come on! Pegging, pegging! What's your watering? You're even thinking of closing the case. So I'm here to report. I found the killer. Like a killer. Are you serious? He's already signed a confession. Nikolai Feich. Everything's in place. Namazina Matsi boss, I will not give you the breaks. If our terms are on the table. He asked for 50,000, but I think that's fair. What's the catch? There's no catch. It's not the first time I've done time. It's better to be warm here on the government payroll than in the parks. There's a freezing point behind it. I'm gonna get some souls, too. Your lip won't crack. I will. Okay, on your own recognizance. Book it. Get it to court. If you reveal your fucking family, I'll give you a heart attack. Work. Cleaned it all up. What if he survived and talks? You realize the name must not be spoken. Don't worry, Dor Nikolaevich. He won't talk. While he's out, I have time to finish what I started. So why the hell are you sitting here? You bastard! The meeting will take place at the Elysee Palace, where the two heads of state will abseil bilateral relations in the field of trade. Last night's firearms were fired early last night by a Central Police Department officer, Senior or Lieutenant Volchow. The man was taken to a city hospital where doctors fought for his life for more than four hours. But now the condition of the senior lieutenant is assessed as stably serious. Who shot the ex-cop and for what motives remains on the reservation for now? Investigative authorities are investigating the circumstances of the incident. Young lady, hello. Your trash can's on fire over there. Where? By the porch, out front. Worth what? You have to put it out. You've got everything here and now it's going to burn. What room is the Wolfman in? 
406th. And who are you? No one. Calling the police here is a dangerous criminal quicker. slowly without moving too much. Raise your arms. Comrade Colonel, higher! His peace. I don't have anything to do with this. And he decided to be the bait. And if something had gone wrong? Or the Virgin wouldn't have made it? Well, I don't know. I already told you today. That I'm not meant to be yet. Besides, the cameras from the parking lot itself led the way, didn't they? Yeah, and they caught him red-handed. Anyway, guys, I'm off to interrogate. And you're a hero. Get well. Thank you. I'm glad you're okay. Well, okay is a big word. I've got it on the roads, I think. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nothing. It's okay. Actually, it's fine. Especially now. I thought you left me. Even the monkey made it. Questions may be asked. Why? I'm not the one who got your picture taken for me. Poured forward, almost killed, and you still don't help. I grew up on the internet, knowing what it's like to not understand where someone is coming from. I only found out that my parents had died in an accident when I joined the police force. So when you told me your story, I thought I should help you figure it all out. Besides, I really liked you. First impressions can be deceiving. I really liked you too. So, lucky you? Let's get a dressing under the IV. In the meantime, coffee shops. I'll be back later. Go quickly. Venechka Vladimirovna, does that bother you? Well, crazy. You came to see me today. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I'm willing to meet and talk. But only on the condition that you come alone. All right, where do you say we go? I'll send the address and time to SMS Koi. Please bet on them. Mikhail Petrovich, it is not for me to remind you how important and useful it is to cooperate with the investigation. That's exactly what you have. I ask you, who gave the order to deal with the left, Ushayev and Wolfman? All right, Chuckles. You're a ballistics expert. 
The bullets recovered from Levy's body, Wolochka's are identical, and they were fired from the same weapon. Your gun. Besides, we have witnesses. And who? Who gave the order? I acted on my own initiative, and I didn't take orders from anyone. So you're claiming double murder and attempted murder for personal reasons. Why double? I only killed Levi. Mashayev, as far as I know, committed suicide. It was on the news. Didn't you hear the major? Come in, come in. No one followed you? I don't think so. This apartment is my late relative's. No one knows about her. And hopefully no one will find out. Uh-huh. I've got to move if I'm going to sit this one out. How things won't settle down. What do you mean? He'll be looking for me, Marinochka in the shooting gallery. Krestovsky. You turned off your cell phone. Shut it down immediately. And Krisuris? Krestovsky got me used to it. And now I'm paranoid myself. But I realize now it was for a reason. He's the one who killed my parents. I will make no confessions, no official statements. As long as Krestovsky doesn't have a 100% criminal record. Open up, Yevgeny Markovich, very soon. Come in, come in. I apologize for the game of silent today. He's just controlling my every move. Kristofsky was getting me in. After your ace Artyom's visit. I guess Artem told you? He didn't know his father's business, but he guessed he wasn't living by the law. So no one knows. It's anyone's guess. That's what Katowski's all about. Well... Am I glad I had the opportunity to speak my mind? It's a load off my mind. Tell me everything you know. It was Kristofsky who killed my parents, wasn't it? The death of your parents is the tip of the iceberg, Marinochka Vladimirovna. You'll have to be patient to find out everything. In the early 90s, a businessman named Boris Stroshin got in touch with a powerful group, referred to by the people as the OPG Chest. The official leader of the group was considered to be the Trunks, Valera, hence the name. While those inside, they knew the real Udovoy. There was always a cross. He is for Eduard Nikolaevich Krzyzewski, a classmate of your father's. Uh, hello? And I was a lawyer at Boris at the time. Yeah, it's an old good friend of mine. Eduard Krestovsky. Edward, I'll tell you what. The cross. Here he is with them. The Krestovsky workshop ran everything from the shadows. His orders were not recorded anywhere. He's still doing business. All his companies are run, year in and year out, but not him. In the early 90s, when the country was in chaos, lawlessness, Grudovka Krista grew like mushrooms after rain. Unless the fight, the looting, drug trafficking. Reiki, the income is tremendous. There's only one problem. The money's dirty. You didn't have to do that. And here someone reminded him of his classmate's Troshi who at that time had a quite legal, but barely profitable business. Construction office. And brought them together. A mutual classmate. Exactly. Your adoptive mother and wife of the late general. Thank you, my good one. Oh, though. Hi. Nikolai was a major. You know what I mean. 
postpone the minimum. The situation is precarious. So he said yes. That's my wife covering the business of the cross. Likewise. Join us. And the damage. Things weren't going well. In the country, without remodeling. Yeah, no, no. And Krasovsky offered him a solid profit. For laundering his black cash. Hey, where'd you get all that? But there's no less, more, more. So what, you're fighting? Don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll build a house. It's only bourgeois. Can you get it from me? Well? And Boris agreed. Except he didn't say so. And by the time she found out, your father had a multi-million dollar fortune. But Larissa, as an honest and principled journalist, insisted that he broke off all relations with Kristofsky. Boris fixed himself. He loved his wife very much. Well, Kristofsky didn't like it. Because at one point, all of his schemes began to come apart at the seams. He tried to talk yours out of it. I persuaded him, even threatened him, but he stood his ground. And then there's Larissa. I've made my own elective arguments. Think about it again? There's nothing to think about. Laura, I'm not talking to you. You're our case? No, we had more. And it won't. ID. Now, if you'll excuse me, you have to go. What are you doing up, Princess? Come here. And he didn't explain that scary dream. You know, when Kristofsky realized that, uh, persuasion was futile, and decided it was easier to remove his uninvited friend. It turns out this whole thing happened because of Mom. She couldn't do it any other way. Such a character. Vladich said you're all into her. He was against going into journalism. I was afraid history would repeat itself. I can see why he's so on board with what I've been discouraging. Kristofsky forced Garstein at gunpoint to prepare the documents, then brought him to our house, where Dad signed everything. Uh, hold on. So Krestovsky's construction empire is the same unprofitable office. He threatened to kill us if Dad didn't give it to us. But no one could even imagine how it would end. But except for Krestovsky, of course. He shot them personally. She's with neutrons. Not because I regretted it. Just once, in front of witnesses, he promised the father he'd take care of the kids if anything happened. And breaking your word isn't a guy thing to do. How did you end up at Nikolaev's? Nika was very fond of me. Treated me like a daughter. She was a frequent visitor, never let her off my hands. She very much dreamed of having children of her own, but she and Nikolaev didn't work out. Only failed attempts to get pregnant. I didn't think she was the problem, not even on body drugs. Turns out the problem was her husband. On the night of the murder, Nicholas also arrived with Krestovsky, not present for the punishment. He took me and my brother and sister outside so we couldn't hear. I've heard. So easy, I thought you were just nightmares. 
and the lawyer did not tell where Masha and Sasha were sent. Kristofsky decided to scatter us among the boarding schools, wanted to disperse the family, but Nicholas did it his way. He drove Sasha and Masha to the same orphanage so they could grow up together, and he took me back to his place so he couldn't bring me back to normal. She once said that if she'd had a child, things would have been different. So she decided to save Nika from me too. And a year later, she learned the truth, my parents. She flipped out, pumped up the line, and drove her car into a Kamaz. And Nikolaev has never been able to forgive me for it. In general, if you believe, Eugene Markovich was very worried about the situation with his parents. Every time he looked at me, he was torn apart. And I couldn't understand why he was so aloof and dry with me. And his conscience tormented him. He couldn't admit it. And Yevgeny Markov, how did he know all this? And on the subject of reorganizing the firm, that's understandable. And here's the thing about a certain accident. She and Nicholas became friends after the murder. A lot of socializing. They had to clean up after Kristofsky. Let's go all out for accidents, make arrangements with the fire department, and make sure nothing pops up anywhere. They didn't advertise their friendship. Kristofsky was feared. He could have taken it as a conspiracy. What united them was fear. And hate. If they hated and despised him so much, why didn't they turn him in? But I tell you, fear for myself, my future. Besides, they're seriously screwed themselves on this one. Counselor, ready to confirm everything on the record. Only if Kristofsky gets arrested, there's a guarantee he won't get out again. What about Kucha? It's serious, Edward Nikolaevich. He's charged with murder and attempted murder. They say the evidence is ironclad. Where's the information from? A friend of mine works there, served together. The kid, proven, I trust him like I trust myself. The caller is unable to receive your call at this time. Call me later, please. Get me Karnenstein right away. And bring him here. It's urgent! Bingo! So Leech confessed to the murder. Confess to Levy's murder and attempted murder. What about Mushayev's murder? Oh, no. And they're not giving up Kristofsky. He says it was a personal initiative. How clearly are the chances of bringing in Kristofsky? Without the testimony of the colonel and counsel, none. Even if the lawyer to confirm the words under the record maximum that my husband and I initiate criminal proceedings, build a search. We'll check out the firms, dig through the paperwork, but considering what a conspirator Kristoff is, I don't think we'll find it. Just the problem of providing for yourself. He'll drag us around with the dishes. He'll claw us. And if he admits it himself? I have an idea and need to stop by the house. Dima, can you give me a ride? Uh, sure. Wait, what's the idea? So don't worry. Stay down. I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yes. I'm Edward Nikolaevich. How may I introduce you? Marina Nikolaeva. Wait a minute. 
Eduard Nikolaevich, they haven't found Gorstein. What do you mean? I left the institute this morning. Duma didn't show up either. I ran it through all my friends. He doesn't have many. That's a Deshina. Keep looking. Request his bank accounts. Check train stations, airports, pull them out of the ground. But he has to be here. Do you hear that? Do it, Eduard Nikolaevich. I did. Eduard Nikolaevich, there's a girl here to see you. Daughter of Vladimir Georgievich. God rest his soul. Well, ask for it now that you're here. I'll be in my office. Bingo. Okay, everything, just like you like oranges. Kefirit. I haven't watched in ages. And there's no time to surf outside of the surf. So if it wasn't for the duty officer, yes. Well, Sir Yoga, you're crazy. I just quit my job and got shot. What's wrong with you? Sir Yoga, you need to think positively now as much as possible. Thoughts materialize. Did you hear that? I hear you, I hear you. Here you go. It's okay. All right, Chuckles. Without you, of course, it's a strain on management. I can't get the Gorkusha off my back. I have to find him. Oh, by the way, they did find a scapegoat, you know. What do you mean? They bought a homeless guy for 50 grand. Where is he? Karkusha. Homeless? In the detention center. Tomorrow, the trial, the quickies, huh? Phone, huh? Whose? The Pike is not a cell phone. Here we go. Yes. Diamond, Diamond, you said we didn't have enough evidence to salt her show. Well, we have plenty of those now. Seriously? Yeah. I'm about to pike you with an interesting story. Hey, Dim. It's a pike. Allow me. Marinochka, haven't we seen each other since the funeral? Yes. You can have your cell phone stuff. Well, safety first, especially when you've got journalists to do it. Have a seat, please. Well, what brings you here, daughter? Well, daughter. How can you guys talk like that? Why did you kill my parents? What were you missing? I'd marry Artem. I'd have no worries. Well, you don't like it like that. You got your lover out. So you can control me. Maybe that's why they wanted to marry us. So I can be there for you, not your schemes. Well, she's a noisy girl. Blame yourself like a fool. So for what? Did you kill my parents? Fickleness and fickleness have softened. I just can't stand those qualities. They annoy me. And Borya had plenty of that shit. Subordinate. Larry didn't swim out. Larry said it, he executed it. Your parents encroached on the integrity of my business. Themes have paid the price. Then Nikolaev, he never had heart problems again. I know. And he was reluctant too. But from seemingly so many years together, it's been stitched through so much. No. In my old age, I whimpered, I can't live like this. I have a confession to make. Didn't get it. And then, I forgave him the biggest mistake of all. Just because he took you in. 
Well, the Coolidge is having heart problems. And so Vladya lived for a long time. What kind of asshole are you? How meticulous are you? That's the whole mom thing. He wouldn't stick his nose where it doesn't belong. And we'd still be living in a big, happy family. Well, I've satisfied your curiosity. Marina Vladimir. Uh, I'm sorry. Marina Borisovna. Almost. And Mushayeva, why? I killed him on that one. She killed him, asked him for help. The same day you signed his death warrant. And did you? Thank you for your honesty. She signaled. Here we go. All groups, come on in. It's a beautiful view, really. Admire it while you have time. Valera! Take a tour in Marina Vladimirovi around the neighborhoods of the city. Well, there were no questions. Got it, Edward Nikolaevich. I will. Please. A dream it showed. But Nikolai, why are you under arrest? On suspicion of organizing a series of ordered murders, as well as organizing assassination attempts on Sergei Nikolaevich and Nikolaev, Marina Vladina. You can't prove anything. And there's no need for that. You provided all the evidence yourself. Drive him. It's over! You're good. This is for you. We took them during the search. On the recording, Nikolaeva accuses Kristofsky of killing your parents and committing a number of other crimes. So that's going to go in the piggy bank of the charges against him, too. I can take it. Yeah, we made copies. There's plenty for you to listen to. Well, now I can see why the general gave you such a crummy tape recorder. It was already a sell, too. Your birth certificate and for your promise? Yes, your father caught him a week before he died and handed him over to the general. Boris Atrishin's firm and all its assets are owned by his children. I congratulate you, Marina Borisovna. Fabulously rich. Yeah? You! Your brother and sister. We found them, notified them. They live a hundred kilometers from here and are very much looking forward to your arrival. Oh, really? Yeah, chuckles. I texted you the address. Thank you, demon. What do I eat? Got him. Hands! Hey, easy, 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 easy. Colonel, you're under arrest for committing and concealing contract murders. I hope you have a lawyer. 
That's crazy. What aiding and abetting? Which Volkovnik Kulich will explain to you? Come along, Nikolai Fedorovich. You guys take him. Yes, yes, yes. What are you doing, huh? I'll complain! Serge, thank you. For what? For showing up in my life, killing you and not mating. That's who, who, but you were, which you really handled. And thank you for being in my life. I... I'm sorry, please, it hurts. It's okay. Yes, our wedding will be healed. Let's go. I'll take you to your family. Darling, Marina. Period. If you're hearing this, it means I'm no longer alive and I can finally tell you the truth. The truth about why for 25 years I pretended to be someone I never was. The truth about why, in 25 years, I never learned how to be a normal father. The truth about who you really are, who your parents were. Where's your brother and sister? The truth, which forever cease in your heart the image of an honest general and cement the image of the face of Nikolaev, a corrupt cop involved in the death of good and loving people. Boris and Larissa, your own dad and ma. Forgive me, my daughter, forgive the fool. For deceit, betrayal, cowardice. For being afraid to make eye contact when you needed it. I'm sorry. I hope you forgive me, not now. Maybe someday in the future. I love you, daughter. I love you very much. And I'm sorry for keeping quiet about it, too. They live here. Masha, Sasha, hurry up, Marisha's here. Jesus, sis, sweetheart. How long we've been looking for you? Thank God you're found. No one can take that away from me now. 